some ideas of how to sift through everything and decide what tools you want to use if you're a teacher looking to integrate technology. Okay. So these are considerations to make when choosing a tool or a piece of technology to use in your classroom. Is it free? Do I need an account? Do my students need an account? If yes, what kind of information does the service ask for? Does it offer teacher accounts? What are the terms of service? Can my students' finished products be easily archived or shared? Okay, this is actually pretty cool too. Kind of takes it a step further um, when you're thinking about um, ideas ways to actually use the technology or if there's an application that you're looking to download for iPads or whatever. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and bookmark this too. But then I was looking down here at the bottom where you have all these other teachers that are commenting at the bottom here and it says I suggest for you to review um, this website this Richard Byrne does a fantastic job of keeping educators informed on these topics so I'm just going to go ahead and click on that Free technology for teachers. Okay, so this looks like it's talking about specific applications. Okay, so these are specific specific tasks that have been written about social media for teachers and school leaders. Okay. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. It's worth a shot though. Getting started with technology integration. It's a good idea to pursue the teaching standards to see how you measure up. Okay, the standards are broken up into six strands. So this is good. Okay, so these concepts hopefully you're addressing in your classroom already. So that's pretty good too. I'm going to add this bookmark.
Okay, so this is kind of cool. This model explores the impact of integrative technology on both teaching and learning. It outlines the progression that educators follow in their journey toward redefining teaching and learning with technology. I'm so behind. There's so much to learn. I won't ever catch up. This is interesting. That's right. We won't ever catch up. We will never be in front of the rapid advances tech transforming technology, and that's okay. Okay, so it's getting connected. Um, if teachers experience the benefits of technology on a personal or professional level, then they're more likely to explore how they can leverage it in their classrooms. Getting connected motivates teachers to take risks. Twitter, for instance. Twitter chats. Okay. Blogging. Okay, not engaging students. All right, this is good. Okay, so again, I, I know I'm just bookmarking right now, but the idea is um, later on when I'm looking through my tasks um, and thinking about what I'm going to type about or um, the secret writing prompt, um, hopefully I'll be able to use some of this information here to help me to um, devise a better plan for the secret writing prompt. All right. Go back. Technology in the classroom. Helpful or harmful. Okay, this is all ideas to help to make sure that your technology time is um, used wisely. You're maximizing the child's tech time. Look for connection, but don't assume it's all in the application that you've chosen. Technology is when technology is used in the classroom is the opportunity to become a game changer. Okay. I am just. 
with a bookmark also. So these are mainly positive reasons why teachers should. There have been a, a few examples here um, within these websites about why some teachers are reluctant. I'm going to try to save that for my second 45-minute session looking for mainly negative reasons. I'll probably even make a new bookmark, so I'm going to change. I'm going to rename this. Call out my pros. And then I'm actually going to make another one. We can task one. Oops. Comments. So then that way it's a little bit easier to decipher. Later on when I'm organizing my thoughts. I'm actually going to go through here now. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten possible sites to use. And some of these I think I could put in the cons list. So I'm going to go back. Okay, this one is good for both. It's got pro and cons. I'm just going to leave it. Reasons for integrating. I'm actually going to write in the last one. All right, this talks about abuses. Uses and abuses. So that lists some good abuses of technology. So I'm actually going to move that down. So. This is pretty much all positive things about technology. Okay, this was a good one. It lists a bunch of reasons why teachers have trouble integrating it and then how to combat these issues. 